I stood at the edge of the cliff, ready to put an end to my miserable life. The past traumas have caught up with me, and I couldn't bear the weight any longer. I had suffered since childhood, and the pain was too much to ignore. As I looked out over, I stood at the edge of the cliff, ready to put an end to my miserable life. The past traumas have caught up with me, and I couldn't bear the weight any longer. I had suffered since childhood, and the pain was too much to ignore. As I looked out over the vast ocean, I thought about jumping. Are you okay? A deep voice asked, breaking my concentration. I spun around to see a Buddhist monk, dressed in robes, standing behind me. He had a kind and serene face, and I felt a sense of peace emanating from him. I'm fine, I muttered, quickly looking away from him. The monk didn't seem to be bothered and sat down near me. Do you mind if I sit here for a while? He asked politely. I shrugged, not knowing what to say, and continued looking out into the vast ocean. I come here to meditate every day. After a few peaceful moments, the monk opened his eyes and turned towards me. Would you like to try meditating with me? He asked with a smile. I hesitated for a moment before nodding slowly, still unsure of how the process worked. The monk guided me through a simple meditation practice, teaching me to focus on my breath and let my distractions pass. It was hard at first, but I felt a sense of peace and calm wash over me as I practiced. As we finished the practice, the monk turned towards me and opened his eyes again. What is your name? He asked politely. Max, I replied, still feeling unsure of what to say. Max, it's good to meet you, he said warmly. May I ask what brought you here today? I paused for a moment, unsure of whether I was ready to open up to a stranger, but the monk's calming presence made it easier for me to speak. I've been dealing with some issues, I said slowly, struggling to find words. It's nothing, really. The monk gave me a reassuring nod and a kind smile. If you ever want to talk, I'm here to listen. As he left, I found myself feeling lighter, more at ease and curious about the monk's philosophy. I wondered if he might be able to help me heal my past traumas. Over the next few weeks, I found myself meeting the monk every day at the park. We would meditate together, and he would give me advice and teach me mindfulness techniques. As I learned more from him, I began to realize that there was much more to life than my traumas. One day, I found myself opening up to him about my past. I told him everything, from the abuse I faced as a child to the loss of my loved ones. The monk listened intently, never interrupting me once. After I finished, he looked at me with a sense of compassion and understanding. Max, I know it's not easy to let go of the past, he said softly, but it's important that you do so. Your past does not define you, and you have the power to change your future by changing your thoughts. His words were profound, and I felt a sense of hope and possibility I haven't felt before. I knew it wouldn't be easy to let go, but the monk's teachings gave me a sense of direction. Part 4 As I continued my daily meetings with the monk, I began to notice gradual improvements in my mental state. I no longer felt burdened by my past traumas and was learning to live in the moment. I began to implement mindfulness techniques in my daily routine, such as journaling, gratitude practices, and meditation. The more I practiced, the more I began to see changes in my thought patterns and behavior. The monk continued to be a guiding light in my journey of healing. He taught me the importance of self-care, self-love, and self-compassion, things that I had never heard before. As the weeks turned into months, I found myself feeling happier, more content, and at peace. I no longer felt the weight of my past traumas, and I was able to live in the present with a newfound sense of purpose. My journey with the monk had changed my life in ways that I never thought possible. His wisdom, compassion, and guidance had helped me heal my past and gave me the tools to create a better future for myself. As I continued my daily meetings with the monk, I began to notice gradual improvements in my mental state. I no longer felt burdened by my past traumas and was learning to live in the moment. I began to implement mindfulness techniques in my daily routine, such as journaling, gratitude practices, and meditation. The more I practiced, the more I began to see changes in my thought patterns and behavior. The monk continued to be a guiding light in my journey of healing. 
He taught me the importance of self-care, self-love, and self-compassion, things that I had never heard before. As the weeks turned into months, I found myself feeling happier, more content, and at peace. I no longer felt the weight of my past traumas, and I was able to live in the present with a newfound sense of purpose. My journey with the monk had changed my life in ways that I never thought possible. His wisdom, compassion, and guidance had helped me heal my past and gave me the tools to create a better future for myself. Months had passed since I had met the monk at the park, and my life had changed in ways I couldn't imagine. I had a newfound sense of purpose, and I was living in the moment, savoring every second of it. One day, as I met the monk at the park, he gave me an unexpected twist to our journey. He opened up about his past, a past that was full of traumas and hardships. He told me how he lost his family at a young age and what led him to become a monk and dedicate his life to helping others. I was amazed by his story and could see how his past shaped him into the wise and compassionate person he was today. His story touched me and for the first time, I felt like I could relate to him on a deeper level. Over the next few days, the monk and I spent more time together, reflecting on our pasts and helping each other heal. It was during one of these interactions that I had an epiphany. Monk, I feel like I have been carrying this weight on my shoulders for far too long, I said to him. But listening to your story, I realized that my past does not define me. It's time for me to let go of the pain and move on with my life. The monk gave me a reassuring smile and a nod. I'm glad you have come to that realization, Max. That's an important first step towards healing. Over the next few days, I began to let go of my past. I forgave those who had hurt me, and I began to love myself more each day. I felt a sense of liberation and clarity that I had never experienced before. As I look back today, I realized the significance of my journey with the monk. Siri, the wise Buddhist monk, had saved me from the darkness that I had been engulfed in. His lessons on mindfulness, self-love, and letting go had transformed my life in ways that I could never have believed. I continue to practice mindfulness and meditation every day, and I'm forever grateful for the monk who had shown me the way. He had helped me see the value of letting one go and healing one's trauma. It's been years now since I last saw Siri. However, his lessons continue to guide me in ways that I can never explain. I am forever grateful to him, and his teachings would forever be a part of my life.